What's up everybody? So today I wanted to give you guys a video on how to bring back some life into your old vans. As you can see these guys are pretty scuffed and faded and today we're going to fix that. Now I know there are many different shoe cleaning packages that you can buy and those usually cost quite a bit of money. So today I'm only going to be using common household items. Three. So today I'm going to be using a sponge, a nail brush, both a small and a large one, a bowl, laundry detergent, hand soap, and a lint roller. I usually start by filling my bowl with laundry detergent and water and then letting it sit so that all the bubbles will go down. Then I move on to any prep work that needs to be done before I start, such as removing the laces, and in this case, removing the Dr. Scholl's insoles and all the lint that was stuck under them. Buddy must have had some chronic back pain. Once that was finished, it was time to start scrubbing. So I generally focus on the uppers and the inside of the shoe first, and then I save the midsoles for later. It's really important to scrub the shoe until it bubbles up because it helps remove the dirt. Next, I move on to the midsoles. I treat these similar to brushing teeth. First, I put hand soap on the brush, and then I wet it, and then I scrub until they're pearly white again. Once that's all finished, I like to grab some newspaper and stuff it into the toe box to get rid of any wrinkles and to absorb any water that's on the inside. Last but definitely not least, I clean the shoelaces by soaking them in the detergent and water, wringing out all the dirt and scrubbing them between my hands.
little bit of hand soap helps speed up the process. After 24 hours, this is what the shoes look like. Once the shoes were relaced, I was really able to see the difference. I use this method pretty regularly on my shoes and it really makes them last longer. I hope this video was useful to you all and I hope it shows you that you really don't need the most expensive shoe cleaning products in order to get good results. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.